pensioners who receive winter fuel payments could suffer if the decision is made to means test the funds. That's according to Dr Ros Altman of Saga, who's criticised plans to fund social care reforms by removing winter fuel payments from pensioners who do not qualify to receive means-tested pension credit. She noted that the payments are essentially part of the state pension, despite being paid separately, as in the past the government decided to announce them as a new offering rather than raise pension payments. Dr Altman added, taking these payments away would amount to a cut in the basic state pension for the millions of pensioners who managed to set aside more money for their retirement and did not want to just rely on the state. The payments are designed to help older people with heating their home during the colder winter months and reliance on them could increase in coming years as rising gas and electricity prices mean people are spending a higher proportion of their wages on heating their home. Dr Altman explained removing payments would penalise pensioners who set their own money aside for retirement, something that could cause long-term care problems as if fewer people decide to generate their own savings due to missing out on winter fuel payments, it will result in the state having to fund care for a higher proportion of people in retirement. The proposal from the Centre Forum think tank comes after Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change Edward Davey said last month that the government is working hard to ensure people are protected from the rising cost of energy this winter. He explained pensioners aged under 79 will receive a £200 winter fuel payment, with those 80 and over getting an extra £100. In addition, vulnerable households, regardless of their age, will see the cold weather payment raised to £25 per week. Make sure you're not paying too much for your energy. Compare gas and electricity prices now at energyhelpline.com or call 0800 074 0745.